Hey YouTube, it's Ryan here, and I was getting this error that my time machine can't repair the disk, time machine backups. So I'll show you how I ended up fixing my time machine drive and being able to start using it again. There are two steps that you can take that might be able to work. Mine ended up being fixed on the second step, so let's walk through it. First thing I'm going to do is create a new folder to back up my drive just straight onto my computer. And to do that, I'm going to hold down Shift, Command, and then press N as in Nancy. And that creates this new untitled folder. You can also do that by clicking on the desktop, going File, New Folder. And as you can see, another folder was created. But I'm just going to call this Backup Backup because it's the backup of my backup getting pretty redundant and I'm going to open up my time machine which is still allowing me to access it if yours isn't allowing you to access your your material you might have to look into a software that can um, essentially recover uh, compromised data or or damaged disks there there are going to be applications that are capable of doing that and there's probably another video that's better suited for that on YouTube but what I would do is I would just grab you know all of my backups and I'll drag it into that folder. I'm not going to do that just because my backup's working fine, but you would want to copy that off of your time machine onto your desktop. And that way, when you erase your time machine, you still have your backups in this folder. So that's something you'd like to do. I'm not going to do it, so I'm just going to delete that. And we're going to go into Disk Utility to try to repair that time machine backup now that we've hypothetically created a backup of all that data in that folder, which you can do, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to click on the desktop, and that makes sure that the finder is highlighted in the top bar, and we'll go File, New Tab. That opens up a new tab, or you can also go New Finder Window, same thing. Let's go to Applications. You might also be able to get to your applications in the bottom toolbar of your, of your Mac. So from Applications, we'll go down to Utilities. And then in Utilities, we're looking for Disk Utility. And if you're having trouble finding Disk Utility, you can also get to Disk Utility by going to File, New Finder Window, Search, Disk Utility. Let's see what that turns up. And you might have to do a little digging. There it is, Disk Utility App. So that'll just kind of search for it. We're going to open that up. And we're in Disk Utility. The first thing you can try is First Aid. And if you click First Aid, it will run its own diagnostics on your Time Machine backups and try to fix it if possible. I've done that uh, in the past on this disk. I did that before erasing it. And it took about an hour, and it wasn't able to fix it. So yours might. So the first thing to try is to click this First Aid button. If that doesn't work, you can come over and click Erase. But make sure that your drive is selected. So the external, the external hard drive that you're using for your time machine backup is selected before you do any of this. So we're going to click First Aid. If that doesn't work, an hour later, we can hit Erase. Just make sure you've already done that step of copying all of the, the information the files out of your time machine backups into a folder on your desktop. And then once you click erase, you can select the format. I was using Mac OS extended journaled and that worked fine. So I would then click erase. I'm not going to because I've already done this, but that erases the drive. And then when you go into time machine, when I open up time machine in my applications, I can select that drive once it's been erased. So. Let's see here, I would open up Time Machine. Nope, oh, sorry, that's not what I want to do. I want to go into Time Machine. So I'm going to go into, what is it in Utilities that I get to Settings? System, hmm. Not actually sure how to access the settings from anything but the System Preferences app. Okay, so yeah, within Applications, you would go to System Preferences. Let's open that up. You can also access this from your dock, which is normally how I do this. And uh, I'll just close this window. From System Preferences, you can go into Time Machine, and you can from here select the new, uh, you know, erased disk. So yours will be called something different, maybe. Uh, so you would select the disk that you have just replaced, or sorry, erased. 
the external hard drive you just erased, you can select that. And uh, that's your backup disk moving forward. So hopefully that helps get your time machine working again. And uh, if that helped, hit the thumbs up. And if it didn't, throw it in the comments below and we'll try to figure out how to get this thing working for you. Thanks.